topping our shows tonight, several Suncoast homeowners are wondering if now is the time to invest in flood insurance. Some can protect their homes for under $500 a year, but others could end up paying 10 times that amount. Depending on their location, ABC 7's Erica Jackson shows us why many Floridians are still opting to drop that coverage. For dozens of condo owners in this complex, when it rains, it pours and hurricane season is heating up, which means these homeowners could see a lot more flooding and damage to their units. When you're getting 20, 30 inches of rain that's being dumped in an area, that water's got to go somewhere. Waking up to a flooded home is becoming a common sight for some Suncoast residents. Farm Bureau Insurance, this is Clint. How can I help you? For insurance agent Clint Bailey, the answer should be simple. Invest in flood insurance. You're at a high risk. The entire state of Florida is a flood zone. But flood zones within the state are constantly changing, which is one reason why 16% of Floridians have dropped the coverage in the last five years. When that annual bill rolls around each year, it kind of gets put on the back burner and they don't have the flood insurance anymore. Another reason, according to Peter Busser and his fiance, Lois Sewell, insurance premiums are rising faster and more often than flood waters. We can't afford the insurance, the flood insurance. So, I mean, what do you do? Their condo is in a high level flood zone, which they say would cost close to $5,000 in annual premiums. But it would have come in handy as Bucer repaired damage from Hurricane Hermine last year, work that was washed away in last weekend's thunderstorms. I put 250 hours in this and all the work, all the money, everything's gone. You don't know what what to do because the only thing you can do is get your stuff to higher ground. Gussier believes it's Manatee County's responsibility to buy the properties that are affected by flooding on a weekly basis. This should either be a park that floods like the celery fields and or they need to come in here and this needs to be a catch basin. But Bailey says homeowners need a quicker solution and should act fast since hurricane season is in full swing. There is a standard 30 day waiting period that is required by FEMA before the policy can actually go into effect. Right now, a new flood insurance policy would not go into effect until early October, but there is an exception for new homeowners. Reporting in Manatee County, Erica Jackson, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.